Hello, this is Jeff McNeil, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. We're just getting ready to fight Diablos. I haven't really done anything since the last episode, so... Let's get this Watch quest yourself. underway. I'm guessing it's going to be in the large desert area. Start. I don't know if I have the ability to make sonic bombs. Or sonic shots or whatever they're called in this game. Um, let's see. Flash Screamer. I only have one Screamer sack. Okay, I better not. They'll probably give me a couple. Diablos is actually a really annoying creature because its roar, the effects of its roar, at least previously, have lasted longer than its animation. So it could roar and while you were stunned it would attack you. So it was, it was pretty devastating. But there was a way to cheese it by taking advantage of, um, I did it again. advantage of how it escaped from the screamer from the sonic bomb basically what you would do is when it would be underground you'd use the sonic bomb it would get stuck halfway in the sand you'd attack it it eventually escape fly up in the air and when it did that you would drop a pitfall trap or a shock trap and get it stuck all over again it's actually a pretty effective method for farming them. Well, that's a bear off. Not who I'm after. It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, that's the desert area. Okay. I have to go down and around. Oh, you guys are running from something. And they're very excited about something. a big threat. Those are some ugly vulture chickens. Oh boy. Those screams. They cause loud noises. Yeah, if you think Baroth is bad, you have no idea. But the Diablos is a vegetarian, it eats cactus. But it is extremely overprotective of its territory.
That is a dead bear off. Yeah. You would not guess that is a vegetarian. And that is a very good look to have, lady. I don't know if my armor will hold up. Ooh. Okay. That that wasn't too bad. Oh, here here it comes. No. Okay, it's still flat. Oh, that didn't last long. I got like what five seconds out of that? That is not a long time. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I want to break those horns. I can't break those horns. I'm pulling green sharpness here and I'm not breaking, I, I'm just bouncing. I'm bouncing off its tail, too. Oh, this is not a good position to be in. This is not a good place to be in. Oh, boy. This is bad. Did I, did I break one at this point? I did. That is good. That is good. And it's poisoned. And I have a heal bug. This is excellent. Oh boy. I have no more... Oh, that wasn't that bad. Ooh. Ooh. My weapon sharpness is just straight up gone. I need a few seconds here, boyo. That is one of the coolest roars in the entire series. Where is it going? Where is it going? It's going right there. And it's back down. Oh, oh that hurt. I will gladly take that, Royal. Ow, I'm stunned. Who gets stunned so easy in this game? You used to require getting hit three times with, I think, ten seconds? Now it seems like you get hit once, maybe twice, and you're done. Which I think is kind of nonsense. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's war knocked me back that far. Wow. Okay. Ah, uh, better sharpen up. My health booster's back up. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. Oh, get that ready. Is it eating?
Oh, that doesn't really do anything to it. Okay. Give me horn! Is it drooling? I think it's drooling. that hill too. Ooh, Superman die. Ooh, I didn't mean to hit your head, but I'll take it. Well, it's poison too, and is it dainty? Ooh, I literally walked right into that one. the sand. Oh! I got butt clumped. Give me that. Ow. a lot longer to actually get out of the ground than it used to. Ow. Ow. And I th I'm stunned again. Oh my good Ow. Bring me the bug. Thank you. Stop with the diving. Ow. At least I'm not stunned again. And it's back. die. If you're gonna play Monster Hunter, you you gotta learn how to do the Superman dive. Okay, it's gonna leave. I'm gonna sharpen myself up. That tail is... it's holding on. Hello. Ooh, that was a fast turnabout. Nope, 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 look. Look somewhere else, look somewhere else, please. Oh. Ow. I gratefully accept your heal bug. I was gonna use the first aid kit, but I will gratefully accept your heal bug. Oh, and it's poison now. Wonderful. And I thought it was terrible, but it's not. Oh. Very, very, I'm, I'm stunned again. 
Seriously? It would have been like 10 seconds since I got hit. Why was I stunned? This game has a serious hard on with stuns. Like, hey, have you been hit in the last 60 seconds? Were you hit again? Congratulations, you're stunned now. Give me... Tail! Or not. Whatever. You know, you're, you're, you're the monster in charge. Ow. Well, at least it threw me into the healing. Anytime you'd like to get paralyzed again, I'd be all up for it. Thank you! <laughs> okay, he has no more hard pits for me to bounce off of. And he's hurting. Ow. Heal bug. Heal bug, please. Oh. Okay. Okay. We'll save the heal bug. Take this heal bug. You never have too many ores. Hi-ho, Silver! Why didn't that work? Hi-ho, Silver again! You are going down. Oh, hip check. I love being in an itty bitty little area with a giant monster where I am literally inside them. It's just, it's just the absolute best. Just, just the absolute best, you know that?
I am landing some big paralysis hits on it. It's gotta die soon. There's no way you can just keep this up forever. And it seems like it agrees with me. Fighting monsters my level instead of Kirin goes much better. way over there. Is it going to sleep? Gee, I'm playing Vanquish here, just sliding all over the place on my butt. Hi, Diablo. Miss me? I respect your life style, man. Eating cactus? You got some real guts. But... Did, did my cat just throw a rock at it? fast. It really didn't like that. Can't blame it though. It is one of the coolest looking monsters in the entire series. Ow. down, dude. You ain't winning. You ain't winning this. Ow. Hip checks. The single most feared attack in Monster Hunter history. And I am not joking when I say that. Anything in Monster Hunter that hip checks, you gotta, you gotta give it proper respect. Oh boy! Ooh, that one hurt. Good buggy.
right, that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too hard at all. This armor probably has earplugs, considering it's like 99% roar. Everyone, please, quiet down. Let's review our current situation. Thanks to the Fifth Fleet's diligent efforts, we've learned a number of things. One, that Zora Magdros is heading for the Everstream. Two, that upon its death, it'll release the bioenergy it has stored. And three, that the Everstream is connected to every corner of the New World. So, if Zora dies inside the Everstream, its bioenergy will blast us all to hell. That's a good way of putting it. Commander, the Commission should make evacuation its first priority. I'll tell my sister to prepare her airship. There's no time. We don't have any choice but to take down Zora Magdaros. What? Blowing ourselves to oblivion is not what we're trying to do. Yeah. Correct. And the whole reason we're here is to study the beast's role in the ecosystem. Not erase it from the ecosystem altogether. Um, I think I might have an alternative. What if we tried to lure it away from the Everstream somehow? Lure it away? Borders the ocean, right? So if we can lure Zora Magdaros out onto the open water... We can mitigate the blast. And the bioenergy released would start a whole new ecosystem in the ocean. Life would go on. Need I remind you, sir, that we're currently short on supplies from our attempt to capture it. And even if we had enough supplies, what kind of weapon could get that thing to change its course? The Dragonator. Don't worry. I have a plan. A very big plan. Is that what I think it is? Ho oh, ho! Now we're talking! Hello, Dragonator. Maybe? I don't see a Dragonator on it. Captain, you sure took your sweet time getting here. But we're happy you made it. Happy to be here. I brought everything you'll need. Ballista, cannon rounds, and a literal boatload of supplies. 
Not to mention a little surprise. The guild supplied us with one hell of a ship. She's armed with the latest anti-elder dragon weapon. A Dragonator. Ah. Excellent. Just the weapon we need to drive Zora Magdaros out to sea. Hunters, it's time. Complete your preparations with speed and make your way to the Everstree. I'll explain the details on site. We can do this. We must do this. May the Sapphire Star light our way. Now, get moving. All right. Looks like we're going to be tackling the big boy next episode. Maybe. We'll see if there's anything new in the subquest to hunt before I go face the big guy. All right. So this has been Jeff McNeil. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time.